so talking confusing. about um, that overlap, I was I was loving it. So you've it's got quality, you've really. got Gary Neville walking through town basically by by their gym. Yeah, the Molly uh, next, next gen, gen gym. Next gen. Um, so you got Paddy there, and he says, "I used to hate you." And his eyes go, he's like, "Lads, I used to, I used to hate you, you know, Gary." And now he's saying he loves him. <laughs> I used to hate you. And get, that, but I like that though. I think Scousers um, Gary, used to hate Gary, that? but now they let's don't be honest. Him. The two people who were just so transparent, and that's what I loved about the podcast. It was transparency. It weren't holding anything back. If we wanted to talk about what we wanted to talk about, if we wanted to get our message out there, it's boss the way Gary Neville was like, "Sweet, get yeah. your message out there, son. I'm not going to stop you. You know what I mean? I'm here with you." And that's something that's respectable. And these two are two people who are such great influencers on this city right now. In terms of the, the entertainment best. value that the they bring, best. the models that they stand for, and the things that they're going out the way to do to actually improve things. Like 100%. Paddy said it best. He was talking about how he does not put charities online and stuff. And mate, he's just a hero. He wants to embrace the culture of the city. He wants to bring it to the mainstream eyes. Um, honestly, the best, the, the, the best pair that you could ask for. Molly, mate, she's the queen. I she's the absolute her. queen. She's, she's fucking kids, brilliant, mate. She's her. fucking boss, the pair of them are. Um, but she's so wise and she's so knowledgeable when it comes to talking about the stuff that matters most. And they spoke about the some and... deep stuff, you know? There was like I've not depression, it, yeah. suicide chat. That's why I love chat. it, though. Like some yeah, transparency. Why are we stuff. dancing around all the subjects that are probably the main topics of our lives? Yeah. Some people don't want to disclose that information, and very fair enough, but you can see the purpose of the reason of why they're doing that. Yeah. Because they want people to either relate to it or do you want to be I able think to learn from it's like, a wow, big... these two super fucking athletes yeah. who are taking over the UFC can go through all this shit. Yeah. How do you yeah. Reckon? That's that's Maybe what I, I mean. Like on. it's a good thing when people at a certain stature obviously feel the need to express their own situations and yeah. things like that because it lets other people whether you follow them or not you can still see how amazing that they're doing Definitely. it lets other people know that you're not alone or there's other people going through the same things or there's people at this level that go through the same thing as you so it, it is it's brilliant to just be able to to talk about stuff like that i fucking love and them, resonate mate. with it i do i've got a, I've, i don't know if these will be able to put the voice notes in but molly sent me a voice note that was funny as any and after the mm-hmm. um after, do you know what? Do you, lad, do you know where my phone is? Um, I'm not sure. No, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Only because if I can't, I'd, I'd love to show you this voice note that Molly Meatball sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the day well after, the first uh, card that Aaron and Paddy fought on Thank You. In lad. London? Sorry about that. So this was in London, right? This, well, so she this would have was, been in London. This was the apex. It was behind closed doors, this card, but it was the time where yeah, Paddy... Yeah, yeah. Done the video saying we don't do if but yeah, or yeah, maybe's yeah, yeah, yeah. like we do How absolutes. Do like we don't do if but or maybe's like we do absolutes. I that still one. love that fucking video, but either way, uh, I'll put this. In this, you just keep talking amongst yourselves. I feel like as well, we didn't even realise how big it was at the time that Paddy won that fight and came out and said his. No, I did. Saying. I know we did, but. I don't think the my rest... younger brother proper follows like the UFC and the boxing and all that, so I but knew that you, was a big no, thing. No, I followed the UFC yeah, yeah, yeah. like so that. Yeah, so yeah, for yeah. me, my head was all yeah, over the gaff. Yeah. I was like, "What, lad? Like, I, I love the UFC." Even the fact away. it was like Jordan, like a key bit where like he's walking through and all that. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. Like, after he won his fight, so whatever he goes on to achieve, I can sit there. That was his first ever UFC yeah, fight. I can sit there and be like, "That was his debut." He said, "My quote on his debut in the UFC." Our boss is that, but this is the voice note that Molly me bought. Put it by your mic. I'm going to. Mic, yeah. I just want to explain it a bit first. It's because I just literally mentioned it in my story. Yeah. Saying, well done, I'm winning your fight and that. Um, and then the next morning, I just see a voice note from, from Molly and I'm thinking, she loves a good this. voice note, Mom. Get on this. This is this sounds like she's been on a rough one as well. Let me get it up. Yes, lad. <laughs> the whiskey's burnt me through so <laughs> I'm still here. We was talking about you all day. But, well... When Paddy said that, ah, my hand, fuck. <laughs> um, I was just laughing about you, lad. But, like, do, yeah, do you know she, when I got that message? I was like, first of all, she celebrated the fucking the yeah. fight rightly. And um, for her to send that message was boss, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I was buzzing when I listened to that message. She's one of my good mates, Mal. She's like, she's so sick. She's just boss. Remember when I done that marker with my T-shirts? Yeah. Um, she, I was talking to it in the morning. And I was like, oh, I've got to do this, this, this. And she was like, yeah, kid, I'll come and help you. She met me in town and I've yeah, got a video it, of her and she's basically I've carrying, video, yeah. she's carrying a box 
which is probably like the size of that chair that you're sitting on. And it's got like 200 T-shirts and hoodies in. And she was just carrying it on her head <laughs> from Seal Street all the way to uh, Kitchen Street for me. So, because it was going to be me having to carry it. That's fucking mad that, you She's know. just so sick. Her nah, dog's wicked well as well. I've been walking Gus before and, and I've bumped into her. She's got a little Frenchie called Frank. Frank, yeah, Frank. Frank. Or something and like that, um, yeah. yeah, she likes Gus. So, yeah, big up to Molly. Um, yeah, great safe, appearance on that podcast. 